Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I am back with another one of my world-famous player collections, this time focused on the straw man, Daryl Strawberry. So Daryl Strawberry played for uh, 17 seasons, believe it or not, in the, in the major leagues. Um, primarily known for his time with the Mets, where he won eight straight All-Star appearances, he won a World Series with them in 86, and was the Rookie of the Year in 83. Also led the league in home runs in 88. He's in the Mets Hall of Fame. Um, but he also won two World Series with the Yankees in, in um, the late 90s. So uh, it's kind of a surprising come around for him. He fraught with kind of controversy, drug use, all kinds of challenges, personal challenges. And, you know, I remember leaving the hobby somewhere in 93 when he was kind of like coming down off his, off his uh, career high stuff. And then kind of writing him off. And then when I came back to the hobby and realized that he had really turned his life around. So good for good for him. Um, so this is, this is, you know, maybe 300 cards or so that I pulled from collections and packs and set breaks over the last couple of years. So let's uh, kick this thing off. Starting off with his very iconic 1984 regular issue rookie. Now, I don't have his regular card. All I have are three pretty mint copies, except for this one's got a little ding here. Uh, mint copies of this. 1984 Topps Super card, which is four times the size of a normal card, but um, really love love this 84 rookie. I know he, I know he has an 83 Topps traded, but uh, you know 84 was his first regular issue rookie card year. Um, moving on from that, I've got 1984 Fleer too, not in the best condition. Um, some dings here and there, definitely some decently loved card, but. Uh, it's nice. I actually forgot I had this when I was putting this together. I was like, wow, look at that. Um, then also 1984 Topps Drake's Cakes. So that's a cool card to have too. This is not the year that they had that you were cutting them out yourself. So this is actually a, a factory cut card. And then two of these um, Topps uh, like transfer tattoo kind of things. He's sharing the bill with Tom Bernanski and Pedro Guerrero. But there is Daryl Strawberry from 1984, his uh, rookie card year. So interesting oddball rookie cards there for him and this collection for me. Um, then on to 1985, we get the 1985 top space card, plus his number one draft picks uh, from 1980. There's the another Drake's big hitters from 1985 tops. I always thought it was cool how they were like a, a red version of the back on these. And then a 1985 Fleer. Uh, again, not the greatest condition on this. You can see a little chipping on the edges. On to 1986. In the collection pile starts to grow a good bit. So there's 1986 tops. I've got a handful of those. As well as his glossy all stars from the, I think they're from the rack packs or cellar packs. There's 86 Donruss, as well as 86 Leaf. Those are all in tip top shape. There is his 86 Fleer Classic Mini. Uh, I like that set because they use alternate photographs from the main set, so it's different uh, photos. There's the KB. The toys, young superstars of baseball, as well as the Quaker Oats, Quaker Chewy granola bars from Tops, uh, and then 1986 Donruss pop up All Stars. This is the lot, um, second to last year, I should say, that they did the oversized card. So these are twice the size as normal. But here's the pop up and the actual All Star. On to 1987, and we've got 87 Tops base card plus his All Star plus his uh, mini glossy league leaders and his team card showing up on the front there. This is the year that they were celebrating their World Series win. There is an 87 Fleer. There he is with the Magic Mets with the, uh, Carter Fernandez, Gooden Hernandez, and Strawberry. So I actually got a couple of those. One of them is, I think this one's glossy. Yeah, this is a glossy one here. There's this 87 Fleer, baseball's best. And then this is a factory set break of uh, World Series highlights. You can see Strawberry in here. And in here. Then a couple sports flicks. See that famous loping Strawberry Swing? He's six foot six, so definitely a tall, skinny guy with a, with a looping kind of swing. There's the Superstars of Baseball from KB. There is the Craft Home Plate Heroes. You guys know I love my oddball sets. Uh, there's 87 Canadian Leaf and the Kmart 25th Anniversary Collector's Edition, 1987. On to 1988, and the pile really starts to grow here with 88 tops, the base card, as well as 
more 88 tops and 88 tops and 88 tops. There's the 88 tops All Star Commemorative seed uh, piece. Here's a really well well loved bottom of the box wax box cutout uh, 3030 Club. There's 88 Donruss, a number of these, as well as uh, 88 Donruss All Stars, which is the first year that they made a normal size. This is the pop up All Star set. I had a box of those that I broke open, as well as the pop-ups themselves, and lots and lots and lots of those. Then 88 Donruss MVPs, these are the bonus cards in that set. There's 88 Fleer, and there he is with Eric Davis, honestly his best friend in baseball, so they actually, I think they, they might have grown up together and knew each other before uh, the pros. There's 88 Fleer, um, Superstars, and then Superstar star Stickers, as well as the Baseball's Best. And there's a Panini sticker, or him and Tim Teffel. Uh, there's the 88 Tops Superstar Stickers, as well as his Superstar sticker there. Then the 88 League Leaders, and the UK Minis, which I, is a really cool set. So lots of those little weird oddball sets from those 80, from 88, and then 88 scored around this out. All right, 1989 brings us lots of strawberry cards, starting with the 89 Tops Base card, 89 Tops All-Star, there's his league leaders, or his team leaders, I should say, with Keith Hernandez there and Kevin McReynolds, and then the uh, glossy league leaders, as well as Tops Big. There's 89 Upper Deck, looking very happy. And it's 89 Upper Deck Collector's Choice Team Card. 89 Fleer, as well as him and Will Clark, the home runs coast to coast. And the Fleer All-Star Team Insert. Plus, the baseball's exciting stars. On to 1989 score. And there is Don Russ, base card, plus the pop-up All-Stars, plus the MVP. And into Oddball Land with the Kmart Dream Team, the classic uh, travel game. This is the orange version. There it is with uh, Will Clark again. Same picture, probably. Captain Crunch and JJ Nissen Bread series. Oh, and there's another Dream Team. I almost missed it. Let's put those together. Okay. On to 1990, when he is still kind of at the height of his powers. There's 1990 tops, 90 Fleer, lots and lots and lots of those. 90 Donruss, upper deck, score, and the US uh, playing cards, baseball playing cards, 90 Travel Classic. Uh, and then the top superstar sticker set, as well as his actual sticker with uh, Roberto Alomar on the back. Uh, collector books. Here's the star line that came from a lot of uh, restaurant chains and post cereal. The Ames uh, grocery stores, all stars, as well as the Fleer baseball MVP set. Love these oddball ones. 1991 is probably my largest stack of strawberry cards. We've got 91 tops. There's his all star. 91 score. His master blaster. His franchise. This is the year that he switched over to uh, the Dodgers, which was a big deal, you know, having come off of uh, eight straight all star games and then going over to the Dodgers. It's a big signing, and a lot of the card companies raced to get him in this Dodgers hat, and so that's why you'll see a lot of these shirt and tie cards. There he is for 91 Fleer, as well as the Fleer Provisions inserts, a few of those. 91 Upper Deck, again, with his Dodgers hat on. There's second series of Donruss, 91, with his Dodgers hat. And he is the MVP in the set that year for the Mets. There's Leaf, which came out later in the season, shows him in action in the Dodgers uniform, as well as a checklist. Same thing for Fleer Ultra. And for Top Stadium Club. There's 91 Bowman, this, uh, the Sluggers uh, Club, and then his base card, which has him in his Dodgers uniform, and Studio, where you learn about his uh, interest of tennis and gospel music and Three Stooges being his favorite TV show and follows the Lakers. 
Uh, his heroes are Pete Rose and Dave Parker. And uh, again, his best friend in baseball is Eric Davis. There's his 91 Post cereal, as well as Jimmy Dean sausages. So plenty of strawberry in 91. And 92 is when you really start to see the Dodgers uh, cards. Great shot there from 1992 Tops. There's 92 Tops Team Club, where you can see his 83 Tops Traded Rookie on the back. There's Tops Kids. Great little set. There's 92 Score. There's Studio. I love this Heritage Series from 92 Studio. And if you look closely, like he looks exactly like his character on The Simpsons when uh, he got to play softball with the nuclear power plant team. Um, if you look the way they drew him, he looks exactly like that. There's 92 Donruss, 92 Triple Play, Fleer, Leaf, uh, Stadium Club, which I actually had one up here and I missed it. Uh, then this is 92 Pinnacle in the Shades collection here. Very cool how they put the reflections as their action shot in their glasses. There's his base card, OPG Premier. And then the Moo Town Snackers, we get into the breakfast world here. With Mutan Snackers, and then Post Cereal, then Jimmy Dean. Then we have Upper Deck with a great shot of him there, as well as the Upper Deck MVP um, Hologram. So cool set there. And we start to wind it down here towards the end of my collecting hobby uh, interests. And we got 93 Top Stadium Club, 93 Donruss, 93 Pinnacle. Pinnacle Hometown Heroes, where they talk about him growing up in the L.A. area and then being on the Dodgers. There's Triple Play. And a lot of these Hostess cards here, as well as these Diamond Marks, Bookmark cards. On to 1994. It was 94 tops on the Dodgers. And then Fleer Update, when he made the switch over to the Giants for just one year, 1994. And there's the Pacific Crown Collection. And then moves over to uh, another shot of him, 95, collect, up to collector's choice with the Giants. And then I have one card from his Yankees days where he spent his last four or five seasons, and again, winning two World Series with the Yankees here. So that rounds out our Daryl Strawberry collection. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know it's a fun collection to go through, so uh, hopefully I can find a good uh, strawberry collector and find a good home for these. I'll see you next time.